secretary from Bangalore. He is former member of SIRC and former member of Secretarial Standard Board. He is regular faculty in many institutions including CA Institute, CW Institute and our CS Institute. With this I introduce uh, CS MR Govinda to you. I also welcome Andrea to this session. So over to Hegde sir. Good afternoon. My attempt is to give a face to the presentation that is prepared by Madam Chandra. If you like the face, thank God. If you do not like it, thank you. <laughs> this smiling will continue. We, we know the historical background. Yeah, Mr. Sachin Pilot, the day he took over as Minister of Corporate Affairs Independent Charge, he considered this as an ambitious project. Of course, the groundwork was already made in the past and it was in place. But he made the statement that the business houses are expected to be conducting their business for the social welfare as well. It is not being forced by legislation, but the provision is made for them to comply or else explain. Yeah, there is repeated reference to the number of sections in the earlier Act of 1956 and number of sections now, 470. Okay, one, one more um, statement. Wherever you find a company's bill, please read it as Companies Act 2013. Okay. 470 sections, 7 schedules, 29 chapters, 470, further you read, at 416 places, there is a mention that as may be prescribed. Prescriptions are awaited in the form of rules. I am sure within a month or so, it will be in the public domain, inviting comments from all the stakeholders, particularly company secretaries fraternity. Yeah, next. Next. Definition of secretary, Companies Act 1956. We are all familiar with this. It says, includes any other individual possessing the prescribed qualifications and appointed to perform the duties which may be performed by a secretary. Now, there is a major shift and the shift is in our favor. Next. Yeah. Section 224, company secretary, very clear definition, one has to be mandatorily member of our profession. Reference is to section 213 of Company Secretaries Act 1980, definition of a company secretary. Further, section 225, means a company secretary who is deemed to be in practice under section 2, subsection 2 of Company Secretaries Act 1980. No room for any ambiguity, any confusion. It is we and we only. Export. 
time and again whenever we think of organizing some seminars some conferences few friends here and there ask the question and try to say why not have a session with the topic company secretary is he a generalist or a specialist again that debate is put to rest we are experts specialized professionals section 251 key managerial personnel we all know there are five categories wo oh, this this needs a, a modification chief executive officer or main director or the manager second one is company secretary here again when the description reads like company secretary we have to refer to the definition it is a member of the institute of company secretaries of india that is the qualification prescribed whereas ceo or chief financial officer or any other officer as may be prescribed there is no specific educational qualification prescribed there again a unique advantage being enjoyed by company secretaries fraternity cfo not necessary that he should be having particular qualification no next next yeah ma uh, before coming to this you have seen there was a mention about officer in default now here again there are four five classes of officers who are considered to be officers in default key managerial personnel sure whole time director sure any director who is expressly delegated by the board of directors to ensure compliance with all the applicable laws to the company and that person accepts it officer in default this is an interesting dimension to the definition there okay functions of company secretaries first time we find a definition of functions of company secretaries it is section 205 of company act 2013 a report to the board about compliance with the provisions of this act the rules made there under and other laws applicable to the company three this sentence can be broken into three segments here it is reporting to the board whether there is compliance or not company act fine second segment is rules made there under then other laws applicable a very wide statement very wide statement and if i may be permitted to use the word it may scare few of the company secretaries ruled reading at this particular part of the clause because all other laws that is applicable to the company it may be labor law the environmental laws taxation laws anything central legislation state legislation even the local panchayat regulations that are applicable to uh, the company situated in that particular locality we are expected to be thorough now a challenge to equip ourselves because even our curriculum has covered limited number of statutes in our study initiative required okay the 
whole purpose of the session is to trigger the thought process to initiate a debate on what exactly is the path ahead of us not only the opportunity which is expanding because of the new legislation but the challenges that are thrown at us then how do we equip ourselves to meet those challenges convert that into an opportunity over a period of time when we start reading familiarizing and then performing in these aspects of various other legislations maybe what we repeatedly do becomes our area of specialization the company secretaries other than the company law of course opportunity in various other areas to specialize b ensure that a company complies with applicable secretarial standards somewhere else reference to secretarial standards it mentions about two standards only secretary standard with respect to general meeting and board meetings now for a moment without linking this to that prescription read it company complies with the applicable secretarial standards applicable means as per our own understanding all the secretarial standards are applicable does it extend to all the secretarial standards that has been brought out by icsi okay there is there is one one radar as approved by central government secretarial standards as approved by central government that that is, is there now maybe they will come out with more in no in no point of time even the institute will submit it to central government for approval then all of them will become Mandated. applicable yeah to discharge such other duties as may be prescribed this is again very vast one it is for the individual company secretary to volunteer and share with the management as to what are all the additional responsibilities one can take in respect of special business affecting the interest of any company in which kmp is having an interest of more than 2% such interest to be disclosed in the explanatory statement so for the company secretaries who are in full time employment this kind of disclosure will be a new experience because earlier we were not used to doing it next okay relative of a kmp cannot be appointed as independent director independent director in the morning i was making a mention qualifications are prescribed under this act and about independence about ability to read and understand financial statements about the integrity i think company secretaries qualify the most yeah. then yeah we we qualify the most more than anybody yes. yeah uh, more than most he says <laughs> that means great opportunity that is being opened for us see the requirement of independent directors on the board of companies the number will see exponential growth the day this act is made effective suddenly there will be demand then they will have to search here and there of course there are facilitating actions being proposed to have a bank data bank etc etc i am sure it will not happen overnight a long journey we should we should encash this opportunity and be there as independent director providing definite direction to the corporate actions and motivate corporate functions next oh 
papers relating to KMP can be seized by ROC. KMP responsible fraud, responsible for fraud if as a result of investigation it is proved that KMP has taken undue advantage, the assets can be discharged besides being prosecuted for fraud. The interesting uh, observation here, whole time KMP not to hold office in more than one company except in its subsidiary at the same time. Is it applicable to company secretary as well? Yes. Definitely yes. yes. Company secretary is a KMP. Contravention, of course, penal provisions we all know. Since uh, the intent of this statue is more on self governance, any failure there will have to attract heavy penalties. Yeah, company secretary's role is there. Okay, an effort to compare between some of the provisions of the Companies Act 1956 and the Companies Act of 2013. Definition we have discussed it now, appointment requirements. Section 383A is replaced by Section 203 where Company Secretary becomes one of the key managerial personnel. Here, certain class of companies, rules will prescribe, but already many of our friends, particularly in practice, have been sharing my experience, apprehension that probably the small companies and the present uh, certification requirement, etc., it, it may go off, then that will adversely impact the practice, these are all the apprehensions. Maybe we will have to get ready for a little pain when we look at encashing major gain. It is trade-off between little pain and major gain. But still efforts are being made, morning my esteemed colleague in the council, Mr. Sudhir Babu, made a mention that our institute is making representation to the ministry not to dilute on those aspects so that our existing role does not get diminished. It only becomes more and more enhanced and enlarged. Because many junior company secretaries are worried the medium sized and small companies will go out of their net. I am just trying to tell you. No? Sir, here point is in the rules, will they say simply small companies or they will prescribe particular threshold of paid up capital, etc.? That will answer this question. Like here itself, they mentioned in the act itself 50 lakhs. That is the definition of small company. A small company. Now, now the point so the is. Def no, no. Definition will not undergo change in the near future because the act is very new. Yeah. Yeah. Next. Yeah. From the practicing company secretary's point of view, of course. Declaration for compliance with the presence of the Act for incorporation, well, we know it. Signing of annual return by PCS when there is no company secretary in the company. Then uh, the 
in case of listed companies certification of annual return it is mandatory secretarial audit this is new and if i can put it in my own words it has been a real fight for our right i think eh? those who are closely associated with our institute activities know it for sure mr sudhir babu will agree with me that for uh, last 5 years or more there has been a powerful lobbying lobbying if i can use that word <laughs> okay representations discussions debates to impress upon the law makers about the need about the need to recognize audit of non financial aspects of a corporate for the financial aspects we have the statutory audit and the audit report part of uh, annual report etc but audit of non financial transactions the functions of the corporates that is the order of the day now but it has been in top since 80s here three decades it has been sir come this hold this on it is time for us to think about tomorrow yeah let us not 8 years 10 years it's all gone it's all behind us so new area carved out for us it really good absolutely we have to appreciate and compliment our institute for having introduced this concept of secretarial audit i was told that our uh, com uh, competitor whatever way you want to call it they were objecting to any other audit no going to any other profession yeah yeah no perhaps they have many objected. many mm. many from many corners there were objections objections yeah anyway today is the time for us to celebrate that yeah a new opportunity is created for the company secretaries in practice to play the role of secretarial auditor secretarial auditor yes. sir when a company secretary's appointment is mandatory and you agree there about the functions of company secretary company act takes care we have seen few minutes back there is a long list of functions that is sufficient that is sufficient are using company secretaries for all types of functions i am telling you even property negotiations when i was a full time company exactly. secretary yeah. i used to go for that yes, we are doing so that. Then, then what is what is the missing of uh, sanctity of uh, uh, chief financial officer or go it is it is also getting mandatory company so, secretary so, company secretary so, 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 sir can you have one question session separately yeah yeah we can there, there is a point but quick response company secretary is encouraged to become ceo also main director also no, nothing stops why do you for papa only cfo you become ceo which is higher than a cfo <laughs> yeah uh, section 275 <laughs> refers to appointment of company liquidators provisional liquidators administrators interim administrators in the process of winding up liquidation central government is required to keep a panel of professionals where company secretaries find sure find a place there and we should make use of this opportunity to be there in the panel and make our service available who can be a better person than company secretary in the role of company liquidator sir? absolutely <laughs> appearance before nclt but when nclt comes into picture is the question nclt okay if my understanding of the company act 2013 is 
or reasonably good when first set of sections are being made effective along with that setting up of NCLT also will have to be in place otherwise uh, it cannot function and already ministry has initiated steps in identifying the locations in the country the cities where NCLT needs to be set up and assessing the infrastructure readiness for that then further process it has already started signing and certification previous slide yeah sorry ha huh. yeah Agreed. Agreed. <laughs> we, we can definitely act as internal auditor and another opportunity that has opened up. Just now there was a mention about company secretary doing the financial uh, CFO's role as well. This is another area. Thank you. Thank you. We are all familiar with this certification and signing of the document etc okay <laughs> penalty provision penalty for wrong certification of annual return if a company secretary in practice certifies the annual return otherwise then in conformity with the requirements of the section or the rules made there under he shall be punishable with fine which shall not be less than 50000 rupees but which may extend to 5 lakh rupees they didn't try to make our, I mean, work more qualitative, I hope. No? Absolutely, that is the intention. Yes, there, there should not be any compromise on quality. Yeah. And who, who can value our quality if we ourselves cannot do it? One interesting dimension about this valuing our own values. Value. Undercutting and all will... Sir, value has a value if its value is valued. Let us value our values professionally. Okay. Secretarial auditor. This is again the routine procedure, etc. Let me not get into it. Uh, fine. In the beginning, I made a statement that I am acting on behalf of another distinguished company secretary, our own professional um, sister, I was acting on her behalf. Now, I, I would like to request Mr. M.R. Gopinath, Senior Practicing Company Secretary from Bangalore, to take over the role of acting. Over to Mr. Gopinath. Uh, respected professional brothers and sisters, I am standing here and I am remembering a very humorous incident that is coming in uh, Sun TV. Uh, that is what is that? Um, this one program comes on humor. Uh, somebody, all of many people are standing near a well, and some child has fallen down in the well, and suddenly somebody jumps into the well and rescues the child. Everybody appreciates and says that you are the best person, and you have rescued the child. Then he says, "I want to know who pushed me inside." <laughs> I honestly tell you, <laughs> I honestly tell you, <laughs> I honestly tell you, I came here to relax. And if somebody asks me, what is your name? I wanted to say relaxing. And in the hall also, there is, uh, if you go that side, we are all kings. Uh, in the restroom, I saw a board, first time kings. So who is going inside and coming out, he becomes a king. Well, friends, uh, now so much of talk has been done on the company's bill and act. And in fact, it so happened. 
that uh, last uh, sunday last for saturday uh, i was in goa addressing the wrc students conference and the members conference when i came there when i when i reached goa it was a bill and when it, when i stood before the mic it was an act so i had to tell them i came here to speak on a bill and you now it has become an act i am going to act now so i act, i acted well friends uh, company's bill 2012 and gopinath uh, i think uh, there is a lot of uh, amenity i would say because i have been speaking on this from the last two years or three years at various uh, 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 seminars institutes like startup accountants company secretaries e and y mercedes benz companies several companies and uh, the way it was happening in the parliament whether the bill will be passed or not there was some confusion this that so many things i started worrying and of all the persons my daughter who is also a company secretary was asking why you look so worried nowadays i said i am reading that new act suppose the parliament decides not to pass the bill or it does get old old i have forgotten new will not come <laughs> then i have to go to parsarthi tell him please give me a job <laughs> so it didn't happen it has been passed now where we are standing companies bill all of you have read now it has become an act every all of us have read companies bill so many new provisions and first time when i spoke in the our institute in bangalore i counted the number of uh, as may be prescribed in each section it was 234 now i think hegde sir says it is uh, maybe 300 400 whatever it is so now it is a rule when i spoke in e and y if it was web telecast in gurugram and trivandrum somebody came on the tv and said in one sentence one sentence can you give the gist of this company's bill only one sentence so i said madam i don't know whether i can tell you or not but i can still uh, summarize this entire company's bill in one sentence what is that there was an ad in a newspaper that refrigerators will be sold to people who are above 80 years of age uh, subject to the proof of date of birth for 5000 rupees so there was a big queue next day in front of the shop everybody holding their pan card it contains the photograph or date of birth then uh, the manager said what is this uh, why is there such a big rush no you have told that refrigerators are being sold for people who are above 80 years of age uh, for 5000 rupees we are all above 80 years please see the manager said have you read the terms down below printed because most of this this so called ad will also have a terms somebody immediately took a lens because it was very difficult to read when they read it it said all such persons who are above 80 years of age who wants to have the benefit of refrigerator for 5000 rupees should be accompanied by their parents <laughs> no for <laughs> around 34 sections all freedom all freedom you do whatever you want for around 34 rules do this for i am not criticizing as mr b ravi said i am i am only telling the facts in fact i consider mr gobal krishna hagade who was also pushed to the well <laughs> as my bojraj you know what is boj boj in hindi is wait so that wait uh, he took it away because i didn't want to honestly i didn't want to, i k i didn't come to ayarka uh, to speak but only to listen but he took away my boj so we can call him as bojraj <laughs> so he took away my my boj so i will just summarize what is that in store for practicing company secretaries and professionals what is in store now what is that uh, our role has become the in fact mr dwarkanath who is not here he said role of company secretaries <clears throat> yes we have to roll over and in the in goa I, I i told them it was a students conference i said all of you have to read the new companies act for passing the examination all of us have also become students to read the companies act new companies act for livelihood and also for compliance now we have gone back to kindergarten so we are, we, are uh, we have all gone to kindergarten or first standard we have joined because all of us there is there is there, there are lot of links between the old act and the new act but we have to now a fresh start because i think all of us here when we were typing or writing a resolution without our knowledge we were writing as per section 1 it is a company act 1956 1956 used to come without our knowledge automatic. automatic 
because there was a cashier where I was working in a company, and that fellow was writing about 100, 200 checks every day. I was, I was signing those checks. And uh, anything you, you tell him to write a check, uh, invariably he will write rupees 1,400 only. One day I gave him an application form for some information. So he has to enter the date of birth. He wrote some 12th February 19, uh, 2013 only. <laughs> he was so much used to writing only. The moment the figure comes, he will write only. So we have reached a stage where we have to become novice, take the new companies at 18 of 2013, try to understand and definitely we are capable of understanding because we have a beautiful background of 650 sections which we are having read. Added to this, in the all seminars, even when it was under the company's bill, there used to be a lot of doubts and these doubts continue. Many times one day I told, there was a heated argument in the court. One of the witnesses was asked by the lawyer, did you go to his house, somebody's house, at 10.30 night? The other advocate got up and said, I object for the question. He should not, this question should not be put. The advocate said, no, it has relevance. I want, to, I want the witness to make the statement. By 25 minutes, there was an argument between the plaintiff lawyer and defense lawyer. Finally, the judge said, okay, question allowed, please ask. Question asked. Did you go to that man's house at 10.30? Yes, sir. What happened? House was locked, sir. <laughs> That's all. For that 25 minutes, they wasted. So now we have understood what was there already in the Companies Act. Try to bring those spirit of law into the new Companies Act of 18 of 2013. And what is most important is we are all now become interpreters. Generally, interpreters is always used to translate them. One language to another language, but now we are all becoming interpreter of the law, the new law. <coughs> because in most of the countries, many of the foreign heads, state heads, uh, may, may not know English. That is why there is always an interpreter. So when Turkey, Turkey was invaded by Russians, the, Tur the Russian major was talking to the uh, Turkish soldiers. And... <coughs> Uh, he was, another man was translating that into Turkish language. The Russian major cut a joke which took about 2-3 minutes. The Turkish interpreter translated it in say, two, uh, 2 seconds or 5 seconds. All the soldiers started laughing hysterically, fell down, got up and again laughing. During the dinner, the Turkish, uh, the Russian major asked the Turkish person, is it so simple to translate? It took me three minutes to cut a joke. But you translated in two seconds. How is that possible? So that interpreter said, honestly, I don't know what joke you told. I only told, Major has cut a joke. All of you should laugh. It is an order. <laughs> that is why they all laugh at us. No, no, we are, not, we are not going to that interpretation. We are going to interpretation of the law. How is that law? Yesterday morning only myself and one of one, one, we were interpreting on some section. Finally, there is a great rescue till the rules are announced for all speakers. Please wait till the rule comes. So in fact, the rules are our benef benefactors. Yes, rules have to come. We have to read the section with the rules. If there is no rules, it is very difficult to interpret. And whatever we say may be wrong or may be right. So we will have to wait for the... For the for the rules to be published so that we will understand the entire gamut of the provisions of the law. Again, the interpretation portion, which all of you agree as company secretaries, is something is individualistic interpretation of law. We interpret totally and totally, completely legally, whereas an entrepreneur will interpret in a different fashion suitable to his requirement. In my practice, about almost 15-20 years ago, the then RVC of Bangalore issued a notice to as a managing director of a construction company which was headed by a matriculate, very, very successful building, I mean, contractor, um, a building contractor or a dam contractor. He had accepted fixed deposits and not returned. So the man complained to ROC, the then ROC issued him a notice that why you have not returned the fixed deposit. He came all the way. He said, what is this notice, sir? I said, have you taken a fixed deposit? Yes. 
You are not returned? No, sir. Why? No need to return. Why, sir? Please give me a dictionary. I gave him a dictionary. He opened the word fixed, permanently embedded. <laughs> Cannot be removed. That is what it said. Sir, go and tell Arvasi, he doesn't know English. Otherwise, they will call term deposits. That is the interpretation. They do it. That is where our, our role will come. In what fashion we should convince them is the capacity of a company secretary. All of you must have heard of Dandeli in North Karnataka. 383A, when it was introduced, 50 lakhs and above, company secretary's compulsory appointment was there. He received a notice of for non appointing a company secretary. I am again coming to the interpretation point of view. He came to me, sir, I have received a 383 Ashoka's notice. Yes, you have to appoint a company secretary. But in Dandeli, nobody comes, sir. We advertise, nobody comes. Why? A lot of mosquitoes are there, sir. It's a mosquito infected area. Is there any exemption, sir? I said, I checked up the act. I said, no, there is no exemption. If it is a mosquito infected area, company need not be appointed. It is not there. Only if it is other things are there. Sir, what is to be done, sir? Nobody comes. ROC issues a notice. Then he said, what happens if I don't appoint, sir? Like all of you, I opened the book. I read the funeral class. It was 50 rupees per day, fine. The next question is interpretation of law. Is something which I want to share, which none of us even can dream of that question. Sir, this 50 rupees per day includes Sundays? <laughs> I don't know. I have not. Uh, I think if anybody has no need, please inform me. I asked him, what is the relevance of the 50 rupees? Sir? What is the relevance of Sunday? Sir, Sunday nobody works. Probably he is thinking company secretary will never work. Why are only on Sundays? Sir? I said, I don't know. What is your interest? Sir, I can deposit three years, 50 rupees fine with ROC. Please spare me from operating company. Why I am giving this example is interpretation of law by a professional, interpretation of law by a, 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 a entrepreneur. Similarly, so many people have come to me when we passed a resolution on section 314, officer place of profit. What, sir? What, sir, you are using the word profit? I am showing loss. <laughs> My income tax officer will squeeze me. <laughs> Remove that word. Even today, I do not know why that word profit is used. So, like this, you will find many more things in Companies Act. In the 2013, we can have <coughs> what we have not understood in the 2013 Act a seminar. And probably one of us can speak for about 30 or 40 minutes there. Eh? And what is that we are not still not understood? Or what is that there is a lot of doubts? <clears throat> there is a, the caption says, role and responsibilities of company secretaries. <clears throat> the word responsibility is such a beautiful adjective in English language. I still remember I went to select a person for an, in an interview and one of the colleagues uh, un innocently he told I think uh, we can select you but we are thinking of having a very responsible person for this post. <laughs> Immediately that fellow said sir I am always responsible. How do you say that sir in, in place where I am working anything goes wrong they won't be responsible. <laughs> so we are here using the word uh, role and responsibilities definitely we have a role and there is more of responsibilities. Gone are the days when we think, yes, we can do something. No, it is not like that. There is a very, very uh, need to understand the law, interpret for our benefit. Mr. Hagede told on the penalty classes, this fines is such a scaring thing. There is a magistrate who would put hefty fines for petty offenses. Petty offenses, like uh, selling cinema ticket in block, pickpocketing. 5,000 rupees, 10,000 rupees he will put when somebody is brought before him. A pickpocketer was brought and he was caught red-handed and he was brought at about a cinema ticket fellow. He, he was caught red-handed. He came, he was brought to the court at 11 o'clock. Magistrate has to uh, uh, pronounce the punishment. The, the advocate for the pickpocketer, he said, this judge is very strict. He is very harsh. He puts 50 fine, but there is only one ray of hope for you. His mother is not well. So he is coming straight from the hospital. Just you make a pranam to him and say, Your Honor, how is your mother? That may 
we go to his mind and you are fine maybe reduced then uh, the co core drama started first case was called pickpocket year i mean cinematic at fellow black fellow got up said yes what is the problem it is fellow said your honor i understand your mother is not well how is she in a stern face said fine 10000 rupees <laughs> what he said what he said she is fine and your fine is 10000 this fine is carrying and really if some of us make mistakes and the companies make some mistakes i am not surprised the director's report of future year companies will carry a sentence the loss is only due to paying fines to the company according to the government companies will pay a lot of fines and there will be a lot of maybe a lot of loss so the loss is only due to payment of fines so fines are very hefty so it is an indication that we have we are sitting on a throne 100% but democles sword tied to a small thinner than the hair is just hanging on our head so how far we are we will become successful it is in our hands our hands means knowledge is power so only knowledge and understanding the law and we should understand, understand and interpret the law for compliance not for the as mr hegde also said even parthal also made a mention of it not for the satisfaction of the clients yes everybody wants like that we you have, my, all of you have seen different types of clients because they are our food they are our water and that is why they sometimes put us in the water so in fact i i gave three days ago a very interesting thing happened i sent a resolution to be signed you will you will not you will not even surprise how he spoke speaks to me he calls me once sir resolution received where should i sign sir see there is a place director on the above you sign okay sir next call sir should it be signed in ball pen or ink pen i said uh, anything you do a signature is required it contained three pages next question sir each page i should sign or initial and last signing page whatever you want to do do then sir signature should be full or half <laughs> then next question sir what should i do with after signing i said tear it off <laughs> don't send it tear it off why i am giving this example is the expectation of the clients is too much and we have to act because we cannot get angry we cannot get frustrated we have to live up to the expectation of these people but equally our role is to make interpret the law in the right or next and make them to understand that you have you have to follow the law you have to comply with the law i am not casting aspersions on any professional in my experience if you tell them you have to comply with the law they will definitely do it tell them it is if it is if you don't comply it is going to be very problem problematic for you he will say sir please we are not we don't want to violate the law very few people do that so the onus of the compliance of law under the new act is more on the professionals like chartered accountants company secretaries and or even uh, cost accountants now one great thing that all of us should understand we are all practicing secretaries practicing chartered accountants practicing cost accountants practicing lawyers practicing doctors even government knows that we are all practicing fellows only we are never called as perfect company secretaries perfect doctors perfect chartered accountants no we are all practicing that means we are all students trying to learn and learning to try that is why mr hegde also made a point that company secretary should also know other other laws also in any other laws also is responsible so there used to be a saying a lawyer is a person who knows everything of something and something of everything so here also we should become we should know everything of something and something of everything if we know that definitely we should get we will definitely get sum thing thank you name sake mr gopinath and gopal krishna hegde we have mention of our names in mahabharata sve sve karmanya bharitha sausiddhim labhate narah a quote in bhagavad gita perform your duties diligently sve sve karmanya bharitha sausiddhim labhate narah one will achieve professional excellence in the course of the presentation there were discussions there were many points 
raised shortly draft rules will be published inviting comments from all of us that is an opportunity please remember raising the points questions here is only a beginning point we will have to put all the efforts to appropriately express our views on the draft rules so that the ministry of corporate affairs the rule making authority they are impressed upon the need for changes based on the opinions expressed the quality of opinions and the number of opinions i i am sure all of you are opinion makers and based on that game changers please play that role and that is the responsibility with that appeal i say we come to end of this technical session over to madam anuradha do chandra madam is not with us <coughs> at present on behalf of the institute i thank madam for her preparation and her efforts in providing us the slides i thank mr gopal krishna hede and mr gopinath for readily accepting to take up this session with no time preparation both the sirs have made excellent and humorous presentation i thank both of them for acting in the time of crisis in short i can say they delivered a very good upma after com and completed our full fledged meal of knowledge they made the sessions interactive and kept us alive even after lunch and we all had a hearty laugh thank you sirs moment to distribution i now request mr ms siva shankaran to present memento to mr gopal krishna hindi this memento is received by me on behalf of madam chandra and to be forwarded to mr hemnath i now request mr hemnath to present memento to mr gopinath <laughs> 